What up streamers? Streamers Playbook here and I'm here to make your streams come true. In today's video, we're going to be talking about sleep streams on Twitch. Are they allowed? How to do them? Tips and tricks all about sleeping on stream. So stay tuned, let's hop into this. Okay, so first off the gate, right off the rip, are sleep streams allowed on Twitch? And the answer is yes. As of February 2021, Twitch clarified that they are allowed for a while. They were, it was kind of a gray area because sleep streams were often defined as idle content, meaning that you were live, you're streaming, but like you weren't present. And so that, that content like that, they don't like that. So, but like I said, in February, they changed all that. And so it's all good to go now. With that being said, you still have to moderate like your chat or anything that goes on in your stream. So you're still responsible for anything that happens. So people come in your chat and start saying a bunch of nasty stuff and you don't moderate it, you can get in trouble for that. Or if you're asleep and something crazy happens on your stream, I don't know what, but you could be in trouble for that too, okay? So just be mindful, even though you're asleep, you're still, you're still required to follow Twitch's terms and services that they have on there, all right? Now, let's touch on how to do a sleep stream. So if you wanna do a sleep stream, the number one thing, the most important thing is to put your stream in the sleeping category, which actually has a sleeping category. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So if I open up my Twitch homepage here, dude, this is a cool bunch of little ducks, what the heck? <laughs> but if I go to the search bar up here and I just go sleep, if we go here and then we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that we have I'm only sleeping and sleep. So both of these are like sleeping categories on Twitch. Obviously these are other sleeping stuff, but I won't worry about those. And so now if I click on, let's say I'm only sleeping, for example, you're gonna see a bunch of people just sleeping. But as you can see, that's the category. Now, the reason you want to do that first is put your stream in that sleep category is because Twitch can penalize you if you, let's say, are in a Fortnite category, but you're doing a sleeping stream. They want you, whatever you're streaming, they want you to be in that category, if that makes sense. So just make sure you do that first. So now you have your stream in that category. The next thing you want to do is you want to coordinate with your mods. A sleep stream is not something you can just do like last minute. I think you definitely want to coordinate it, especially if you have like viewers that come in and hang out in your stream and stuff. Definitely want to coordinate it with some of your mods like, hey, would you be able to stay up all night and moderate my chat and just make sure if anything pops off that you contact me? And maybe I even suggest giving them a way to contact you to in case something happens on your stream that you need to be aware of that they could, I don't know, call you, text you. Depends how close you are with your mods. You decide Discord message, but whatever it is, just make it so that way they could contact you, but just let them know, hey, I'm doing the sleep stream and maybe even pay them a little bit too. I don't know if you don't pay your mods because that's kind of a lot to ask someone, hey, stay up all night and moderate my stream, but your choice, that's just, you know, a tip for me. Okay, so next, now the number three, the thing that you want to do is have the right equipment. And so I don't recommend, like right now I got this huge face light on me. I don't recommend that for a sleep stream. I think that you'll have a hard time falling asleep. I don't think it's as natural. What I recommend doing is there's like LED light strips. I'm sure you've seen them and I'll link some down below in the comments and in the description that you can check out. But I prefer using those. It's, it's softer. It's just a strip. So it's not super bright. But like, for example, the ones I use are from Elgato. You could right there. Oh, there you go. You check them out. Kind of cool, right? They have like, I think over a million colors, they say, and you can adjust it with your stream deck. Now that part is cool because then you could just lay in bed with your little stream deck. And boop, 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 boop. Now, if your computer's far from your stream deck, you want to get a USB extender so that way obviously it can connect if you're going like across your room or something. But I'll throw those products down below. So you, the light, the stream deck, those things, just stuff to consider. I don't think you want it to be super dark, but not super light because obviously if it's super dark, they can't see you. So you need to kind of figure out what you're going to do for lighting, but that's up for you to decide. Another thing that I'd highly, highly recommend is wearing proper attire. So if you're someone who sleeps in the boxers or something who someone who sleeps, you know what I mean? And Hey, we're sleeping, we're getting comfy. When you're on a stream and you already know you can't sleep shirtless, I'm gonna make a video, or you can't, I'm sorry, you can't stream shirtless. I'm gonna make a video about all the cans and cannots and I'll put that down below when I make it. But you can't stream shirtless. And if, like I said, if you're wearing something that could maybe, I don't know, get you in trouble with Twitch, we're just gonna say it like that, just be careful. Cause like I said, when you're streaming, you still are responsible for what happens on stream. I, I literally say just dude just throwing a onesie you know what I'm saying and so you're totally covered up nothing's gonna happen you're good to go that way you don't have to worry about it and the last thing I want to touch on this is optional some people choose to when they do stream sling, sleep streams that they'll run like YouTube videos through the night or they'll run some kind of something maybe stream rewinds 
and it'll just be like them in the corner sleeping or it'll be them uh, sleeping is the main screen in the corner of YouTube videos up to you I think it's a preference thing and I think that it's kind of like what you're going for with your sleep stream the YouTube videos are cool because it kind of keeps people entertained but hey if they're there for the sleep stream they're there for the sleep stream you know what I'm saying so I think it's up to you to decide and then the last tip I want to give is if you're doing a sleep stream make sure that you hype this up unless it's like something common that you're doing I mean whatever but if you're doing like hey I'm doing a sleep stream you want to like beef it up like hey I'm doing this how people get hyped and it's just a different community thing that sleep streams are they're just different you know what I mean it, it, it lets your your audience kind of see you in a new light and they could be like hey remember when so and so was doing the sleep stream and they farted or something I don't know but it's just different it's something unique I, I hope I answered a lot of your questions about sleep streams. If you have any more questions or comments, if you've done a sleep stream, I'd love to hear about it. Throw it up below. Again, I put a lot of links down below to certain products. And even on my website, I wrote a whole article about this that you can check out below. So check it out and we'll see you in the next one.